Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Appreciate you tuning in once again. So we've been at it. We've been getting back on things. So man, with that computer being gone, man, that just that just threw me in a loop. You know, just got to get back on everything. So I got to get back in that groove again. Get back to that regularly scheduled programming and go from there. Uh, the other day I did an open box on a 68 Coronet convertible that I got uh, from Hobby Nut Models that Mark sent me. So yes, sir, you guys, you need to get this kit. I'm telling you what, this is a nice kit. It is an MPC. Yes, an MPC. Oh, it, I'm telling you what, guys, it goes together really nice. It's zero flash on this thing, super clean. Um, I've been kind of hammering on it. I got a lot done on it. Um, engine's been put together. And I tell you what, the stuff fits pretty good. I mean, we're talking like Gravel level here. So far, my kit. It's been amazing. Um, I haven't finished it yet, so we're working on it. But at this point, I've been very impressed with it. So the fit and finish of this thing has been just superb. So it's, I recommend it. I'd pick one up if I was you guys uh, liking it. So I got this washed up, so we're going to get ready to get it into some paint. And I'm just going to paint it right on the plastic. We're going to see how that goes. I usually do that a lot. Don't have a lot of problems with that. And we are painting this avocado green. Why? I don't know. I just like it. It looks cool. I did some research online and it looks nice. And besides, I got to I just got to stay away from the red, the white, the blacks. You know what I mean? I, I got a lot of Mustang model kits here and stuff. So that's kind of the general color of those usually. I mean, occasional blue or orange, or yellow, but most times it's those three, three colors, you know, but I like the green. I think it looks really sharp on these cars, uh, especially anything in the kind of the light metallic, uh, silverish green metallics. Uh, stuff like that. I mean, John Deere green on a car, not quite my thing, but some people like it. But just for me, no, it's not my gig. Not my bag, as they say. So that's what we're going to do. That's getting painted uh, with enamel with MCW. So we're going to show you that here in a few minutes and get that rolling. So, uh, yeah, so it's a pretty cool kit. I, I, you guys need to go down and pick one up. Market Hobby has got tons of them down there. So go check them out. And uh, like I say, it's a for an MPC, guys, it's actually a nice builder. Nice builder. So I got a shop card today. I got a shop card from Arkansas, from our good friend from the Scale Modeler Car Guys channel from Sean. Everybody knows Sean. If you don't know Sean, I highly recommend you going over and check out his channel. Um, I tell you what, it's I really like watching Sean. He's got a really good channel. And I tell you what, thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever makes your world go around. I tell you, Tony and I, we we say that all the time. It's like, Sean, you need to coin it. You need to register that trademark or whatever you got to do. Put it on t-shirts. That's such a cool saying. I love it. That's awesome. Guy tells it how it is. That's just the way it is. Um, and I tell you what, uh, Sean's got some really cool builds going on over there. And I tell you what, he has one massive, massive. And I, I think he might be the Messiah of Johan kits. Um, I don't know if there's a kit maybe he doesn't have. Not sure. He's got a lot of them. I'll tell you that much. So, um, I'll show you my, my collection, Sean. So check this out. Yes, sir. There's my collection right there. One Pinto funny car. That is the only Johan kit I have. Yes. Take it in. So yeah, so that's, uh, I know pretty impressive, huh? <laughs> I used to have tons of them when I was a kid. I had tons of Johans cause I mean, that was, you had like your NPCs, your AMTs, um, and your Ravel, you know, monogram, stuff like that. And then you had just a ton of Ravel, or I'm sorry, you, then you had a ton of uh, Johan kits. So I had tons of those when I was a kid, but back then it was just a dime a dozen. So I was like, whatever, you just build one and let it go. And that was it. But now I just, who knew that it'd become such a thing. So, uh, so anyways, there will be a link in the description below for Sean's channel. So if you guys have not been over to check Sean's channel, go do that and check them out. Um, very cool channel to watch. And like I say, his collection is amazing. Sean, you have an amazing collection. I'm just going to tell you that, my friend. Um, very cool. So you almost need another shed to put all your stuff in. I mean, you got a lot of model kits. I saw the one video. You did a little tour. But, I mean, you got any closets. You got, I mean, there's, they're falling out everywhere. Impressive. I like it. Very cool. So, Sean, thank you so much for the card. I really appreciate it. Um, and thank you for the words on the back. So, uh, like I said, guys, go check out Sean's channel. And go from there so i put my vent in i got my vent put in and i tell you what, wow what a difference 
unbelievable. I don't know what I was thinking when I built this room. I, I'm not a carpenter, like I said before, and I don't claim to be. I mean, it's not my thing. It's not my gig. Um, and I tell you what, I'm going to show you some stills here real quick. It might be an overkill, but uh, I don't know. It's just it's just what I come up with at the time. So I built this huge kind of frame, and it's made out of one by six. Um, and then I put some one by fours on top of that. So I did some one by fours and I put the filter, I used a 16 by 16 by one uh, filter, set that right in the center and used the one by fours to make a frame for the filter to nicely set in. Then I took another third layer, like say a little overkill, and I put that on top and then sandwiched the filter in, kind of like crushed it in. So anyways, then I put some screws in on that last outer piece um, so if I want to take those out, I'll put some Torx ones in there. And if I want to change a filter, it'd be easy to do uh, and go from there. So then on the inside, I made a nice uh, one by four little box, boxed in the wall, basically. Uh, took some NASCAR tape, some uh, some duct tape. Just having a moment there for a second. And put that on there, caulked everything up nice. And then the inside, I put a register with a little slide thing back and forth. So we can regulate the air. Unbelievable. I was painting here the other day. And I was doing some work on this model kit, and I thought, my gosh, just, I can't believe how much difference it makes. I thought, I'm an idiot. I was like, why did I build this like this? Like, crazy. So I'm using a paint booth, and it's just like, you know, before, it just like, it just like roll around, and it, it suck it out. But, I mean, I'm feeling the air coming out of the plugs as it's trying to pull from wherever it can, because there's no vent in here. Now I can actually see the paint going out with that open, I thought. Unbelievable. I should have done that years ago. Well, a year ago, I guess, when I built it. Because I've only been here for a year in this thing. So, uh, other than that, then I get people coming in all the time like, wow, it's so strong here. You guys smell paint? And I thought, I don't smell nothing. So, maybe it's time to put that in because it's getting to where I don't smell it. So, yeah. Other than that, I'll take you guys over the bench and I'll show you what we got going on with this model kit. Uh, like I say, very impressive kit so far. I'm very impressed with it. And I tell you what, it comes with the trailer. It's got the little trailer, and I was more excited to build that little trailer than I am on the car. Uh, I got that all put together too, so I'm going to paint that as well. Uh, it gives you a nice little hitch and receiver and all the stuff for the um, for the car. And to mount that under the gas tank area. So very cool. It's so like I say, go pick yourself up one of those, because it's a very nice kit. You would like it. You'd like it a lot. So take you over to the bench and let's check out and see what we got going on. All right, guys. So like I said, we got the engine painted up. Check that out. It went together nice. It went together really nice. Um, so I was just bragging how nice this kit is. It actually is a nice kit. But for some reason, if you go by the numbers, um, this valve cover should be flipped backwards. Because that should be on the back. But I don't know. For some reason, um, my pegs didn't line up to put it backwards. So... It went on the front, and I know that's not how it's supposed to go, but um, that's how mine is. So that is that turquoise green uh, from MCW. Very cool color. as turquoise Chrysler. Um, pretty cool. So that is paint number 1406. Uh, like I say, Chrysler turquoise for the engine. Um, very cool stuff. So that's what we painted this with. And threw a little hardener in it, and that that turned out really nice so like I say that fit went together good on that engine it looks pretty cool so that's all set um, and like I say the kit also comes with uh, some jacks and uh, different tools and stuff so pretty cool so we got the interior base done I've really been debating on the take and painting these green because I tell you what when I did that Falcon car that model kit it looks so much nicer with colored seats in it versus black because uh, I tell you you know Black's just like the easy way out to do interior. It looks good, and yes, it's prototypical on a lot of stuff, but it's just, I think it looks really cool when you do it, give it some color. Um, you know, especially even right now, it'd look nice, but it is a convertible, so I'd really like it to stand out pretty good because there is no top to this model kit. You get a boot for the back of it, and that's as far as it goes. Um, but other than that, that's all you get for it. So, like I say, I built this trailer, uh, putting this together. So this is going to get painted gloss black, and I'm going to do the sides. We're going to do those separate. And so I have the sides here. They're still on the tree. i got to take some off, and I'm debating on the color. I might do this in like a, a silver color. I'm not sure. Or even red. Uh, not sure on that one yet, but 
Uh, that's the only thing I got left to do for the trailer. And like I said, there's not a lot of parts this kit, so it's um, pretty much mostly together at this point. Uh, painted, I should say. Uh, not together, obviously. So like I said, we're going to do is get this going, and I'm really debating on those seats. I don't know if I should hit them with some of that green when I spray this, the body. Because if I did, I'd just give it kind of a mist just to give it that hint of green. I think that looked pretty cool versus just an all black. I Like I said, I did do some look online. Um... And I looked at some green ones, and they did have green seats in it. And this part of the dash, this is padded right here, and that part was green as well. That was the same color as the seat, just that little piece right there. So we may do that. I'm not sure yet. I'll uh, see how things go once we get spraying. And I might try one seat, and if it looks cool, uh, I'll do the rest of them. But other than that, um, that's where we're at. So I think it's time to uh, get this painted and see what it looks like. I'm kind of curious. That color's... Uh, yeah, so let's go to the booth and let's shoot this thing All right guys, so we got our avocado green like I say this is number six eight five eight E for enamel So very cool. I mean that is a cool color Yeah, they look good So let's get this opened up and check that out How cool is that? I get a little better than a cap. So yeah, that looked cool, right? So we've shaken, shaken, and shaken it. So it should be good to go. This has a really, really nice metallic to it. So I'm really looking forward to see how this sprays. I love spraying a new paint for the first time. It's just very exciting, very exciting. So I'm down to my last probably five of these little cups. And I'd say it's kind of funny when you get down to that last few bunch of cups. You're at first you're like, yeah, whatever. You like throwing them away left and right. You don't care. Oh man, when you get down to that last few, you're like, ooh, be careful of those. Oh, I got a couple left. That's where we're at. We're at that couple left stage. So we're going to use our Mr. Color Leveling Thinner. Um, I love this stuff, and it works great. And the leveling is because it is a slow reducer, so it gives the paint a little time to flatten out and uh, smooth itself out so it doesn't dry right away as soon as it hits. It dries just fast enough to let you know hey that's where we're at so i like to do a pretty much a 50 50 on these um for my first couple coats and then after that i'll go a little extra um thinner on it just to help level it out a little bit better at the end so we're going to dump this in get that mixed in there so this should give me about a full cup maybe a little more so now, like I say, we're getting down to these, so I'm going to set this off the side, because that's a reuser. And we're going to mix this up, so I just take my little pipe. I need to get one of those little badger mixers. Um, that just, that'd just be the thing to do. But I just use this thing and work it back and forth and make it all happy. So now we're going to do is take and add a little hardener to this, and we're going to go from there. So, like I say, kind of excited about this one. I think this is going to look pretty cool. See how that goes. I think this is going to cover pretty good. Um, now, the only downfall about doing this without primer, um, you're not going to get the darker panel lines um, unless you kind of paint them. But sometimes it is nice to maybe give it a little darker color um, primer because it will fill in those panel lines, but it will change the tone of the paint just a little bit. So I really like the color like it is. I don't want to darken it any because any color primer you put underneath of it um, that will change the tone of the paint just a little bit. So even gray, but we're gonna we're gonna leave it at this and see how it looks. So we're gonna leave that like that for a second. We'll take some MCW harder. Like I said, I like putting them in these jars because they open up pretty easy no matter what. Give her a good healthy splash of that. And we're good to go there. Alright, we'll do a little more mixing. Look at that metallic settling already. Ooh, just that little quick short hit. So I hope this turns out kind of cool like that cougar green. Because I tell you that, uh, that was Highland green for that cougar. And that looked beautiful. I mean, that turned out really nice. So guys, for this project, we are going to use the uh, Iwata HPC Plus. Uh, so we're going to be spraying it with this.
All right, guys, so we got some assembly together. Like I said, this is a pretty nice little kit, guys. So we got a trailer hitch in there. We got those traction bars, painted those yellow. I thought they looked pretty sweet. So I'm still debating not to use the headers on the engine or the actual regular manifold. So that's why I kind of stopped there. So the exhaust is just kind of sitting there. I had to put it in before they put the axle in, uh, debating on which way I want to go. And I got the little trailer put together. Dude, that thing is pretty cool. So I think I'm going to put, I got some balsa wood here. I think I'm going to make like a little wooden deck for it. So I think that's, that'd be pretty neat. Yeah, so that's pretty neat. So we did the door panels. We did those in natal black. Same as the dash. That's all done natal black. And the seats are semi-gloss black. And, and then we have flat black on the floor and natal black in the window. So that is all set. And our engine is over here drying. So I got a few things to do in the engine yet. Um, that's pretty much it. In a hand basket, I guess. So the transmission's still drying a little bit, but that's that's us right there. Uh, like I said, I gotta move that um, fill neck to the back. Other than that, that'll be ready to go. I'm not gonna do any like wire or anything on this. I'm just gonna pretty much leave a box stock basically um, and go from there. So I painted a little jack. I painted that same color as the engine, and like I said, it give you a a toolbox and a gas can so that's pretty cool so these are the manifolds you get in a kit so i paint these iron gray so those look pretty cool on the camera they're black but they're more of like a charcoal gray and like I say so the interior is ready to put together i'd need to uh, uh just finish those door panels up to detail them out a little bit and go from there so let me show you the body and then uh we're gonna wrap this up so here's the body work on it i may do as wet sand this and give it one more coat that actually covered very nice and it looks really good uh so i may leave it i don't know yet uh there's a there's a couple blemishes i got one in the trunk uh, but i think i can polish it out if i go that route so that actually turned out pretty nice i really like that color so i'm just going to panel line those doors and i did a couple hood options they give me a couple hoods in the kit so I went with this hood here. I painted it flat black and they give you this instead of that clear hood scoop they give you, uh, they give you another one also and you just had to drill four holes in it and um, you can just set that in the hole so it lines up nice or we're going to go stock. Um, I was going to bare metal foil those pieces up top or it might take the stock hood and paint it flat black. I'm not sure yet. Um, I was going to just go with all green, leave it all green, but I think I might, I, I set that flat black hood on there. I, I kind of like the looks of it, but I just don't know if I like this hood scoop on it. So I'm not sure. I don't know. What do you guys think? I don't know if I like that or not. I mean, it kind of looks cool, but I can see where the flat black hood looked pretty cool, especially with that all chromed out in the black interior. And I'm going to use the black uh, pinstripe um, on the side here for the back, where it goes across the back. So they'll have the black pinstripe that goes across the trunk. So, like I say, I may take this hood and paint it flat black and chrome that uh, piece up top here, you know, around the, up here. I think that's what I'm going to do. I think that'll look good. So other than that, guys, that's we're going to wrap this up for today. So I appreciate you guys tuning in and checking out the channel. And if you guys, uh, like I say, have not been over to... Uh, Sean's channel uh, go ahead and check him out and uh, also check out hobby Dump models. There will be uh, Links in the description below. So guys, I appreciate you guys tuning in and uh, Following along and we will see you the next time around. We should have a completion on the next video here. So uh, We'll wrap it up and call her good. So you guys have a good one. Thanks for watching